Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Volca, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope. Honey, I don't know why I'm struggling right off the bat, honey. Uh, so if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, Gemini, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Gemini, is through the comments. As well, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Gemini, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it Gemini when you take that extra step to support me in that way uh what else? what else I know there's something else oh also remember to use your intuition Gemini because put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective to consider but never making the decisions in your life because it is, because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so now that all that is said my beautiful Gemini let's get into your weekly tarot horoscope all right gemini so i pulled some tarot cards for you just so i could get an idea of where you're currently at this week so we have the nine of water or the nine of cups for you we have the emperor card archangel michael number four so write down the number four for numerology and see look it up later to see how it correlates with your reading uh gemini as well as uh, if you're open to working with Archangels, Archangel Michael is reaching out to you at this time, Gemini, if you're open to connecting with them. What your spiritual practices are and what you do is none of my business, though, so don't feel like you have to, of course. Uh, as well as Magician card, number one, same thing, write down the number one for numerology, as well as Archangel Raziel is reaching out to you. Two different Archangels, honey, that's a good thing. Then you have the Ten of Earth or the Ten of Pentacles uh, coming in for you. So really beautiful cards. Can you take a moment to appreciate that? It wasn't like processing to me until I like... <laughs> Gemini, you couldn't see it, but the card almost just like fell off my table. So yeah, looking at this, I wasn't realizing like how powerful this reading is for you, Gemini. Um, because I just see something really good happening. I, don't, I mean, this could be something that, like, just out of seemingly nowhere for you, uh, Gemini, but I feel like it's almost like through your hard work on something, through your perseverance or your persistence with something that you've been holding out on, I feel like really brings forth, it just feels like good news is on its way for you, uh, Gemini. It just feels as if, like, whether it's, like, from your control or just from seemingly out of nowhere gemini a lot of beautiful stuff happens but i'm going to speak in a narrative though that something that you've been working on gemini just because of this emperor card coming in here we'll start with this because this card says organization and logic structure and discipline and list uh, leadership so this is i feel like the energy that you're in right now gemini it feels like you're just taking matters into your own hands life into your own hands and something that you've been really persistent at where maybe other people were doubting you before gemini maybe other people were just like oh no gemini you're being crazy for this why would you think about doing this why are you doing this right why 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 just questioning your actions and so you gemini have had to uh rise above it and just like stay the course and not allowing the outside noise to um affect you too much so let's see what extra what clarifiers we get for this card these two want to come out so yeah we have the seven of swords coming in y'all like how it sounded so weird with that yeah <laughs> i'm like ripping on myself in front of y'all hello uh seven of swords coming in the sun card and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Another sign got this. I don't remember if it was Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I don't remember anymore. But um, someone else got this. Some other air sign got this card as well, where it's like talking about communication. Like Usually with the Page of Swords upright, this is a card where it's like watching from a distance, some something someone wants to say, but kind of keeping to themselves. Or if there isn't really good communication, um, like, like, or if there is rather good communication, like the person themselves are not able to communicate or say what they want properly, whether that's because it's just like what it is that they're feeling, or maybe they're just like, it's hard to communicate with this person, like make it hard to communicate if it's about a person. But when it's in the reverse, this is like the very opposite. So it's just like 
you know, it's very in your face energy. So is the sun card, very <laughs> in your face. I mean, you look at this individual here, they're just like the sun's like beaming right on her face, honey. No sunglasses either, darling. So you <laughs> So with the Seven of Swords though, this is a situation that probably has been lingering for a bit, right? Maybe you are holding out on um a situation, a person or a job, right? You haven't heard back from them for a long time and it just wasn't really looking promising, right? With the Seven of Swords here. It wasn't looking promising and it was just kind of like, eh, like maybe maybe even you yourself, Gemini, you're close to just giving up on the situation, being like, ah, this is a lost cause. There's no point in me holding out for this job. There's no point in me continuing feeding energy into this passion because it's not going to go anywhere, right? But you still persevered through it. You've maintained through it. And so I see... I see you guys getting assigned very much so like three of wands energy um, that keeps you motivated of pushing through as this emperor. This is something that you really have been like, I don't feel like you really have had like a strong support system for this. Whatever it is that you have been um, working on Gemini and really just like had faith in it feels like you've been like alone in this process like you it's like it's only like one side putting energy and effort into this and like no one around like everyone else around you just speaking negativity and doubt to you so uh we talk about all that right now we get into the, your magician card archangel Raziel. this card says you are ready you have the resources to manifest them life is magical this is like i would say probably the second best card in the deck just because um this is a card of creation this is a card of you know just overall manifestation right that's what the card itself says but the uh, magician card is someone that they have their hands involved in this so really confirms to me gemini i feel like this is something that you actively especially with the emperor card you actively have been the one holding out on this you actively have been the one feeding energy into this and really like holding out on it i can't help but feel like you're just like one of those things gemini where you're just like nah 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 i have a really good feeling about this right and you've had to like reassure other people in your life about it so let's look at these clarifiers we have here the nine of pentacles we have the Empress card in the reverse, and then you have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you really weren't getting a support system with this, <laughs> Gemini. This lets me know of where it's like with the Six of Pentacles here, if the, like, you're putting your part into it, right? But the other side of things is just adding a bunch of heaviness, a lot of negativity, a lot of just like not motivating energy. Um, Somehow this comes to an end, right? I don't know if maybe if this is about a person, Gemini, keep in mind I do your love and career readings later on after this, but if this is about a person, it feels like you were putting a lot of energy and they just were not, right? They may, That's probably why that Page of Swords communication has been hard for you to express. Um, but I see you just like holding out on it and just being like, you you just maintaining faith for something be like nah like everyone else calls me a fool everyone else thinks that i'm being ridiculous and just clinging on to things and not wanting to uh uh let situations just go right and just you know it just feels as if like everyone else is like concerned for you gemini besides you um and i just feel like you're gonna have like such a beautiful moment because you have the nine of water coming in or the nine of cups this card says your wish is coming true concerns fading away and a love life right i feel like there's just like a moment that just things shift for you uh gemini and i know that just sounds super just like uh, like whatever um anyone can say that but yeah all these cards like you go from like you by you maintaining your persistence gemini um you maintaining that emperor energy being that leader role the magician is the one that actively is creating in their own reality right um now you staying the course and not losing faith you get that your wish coming true so how does this happen right what does this even look like so we have the king of pentacles for you the seven of cups in the reverse for you as well as the king of pentacles but no queen of pentacles so this is a social situation this is like your other half person i know this sounds so corny but i like to just more so say it's like this is like your person this is someone that you click with right where it's just like you know what maybe this is like a twin flame connection gemini i'm not usually one that likes to talk about it all too much just because 
you know, I like to just avoid it. But in this dynamic, when it comes to a twin flame connection, a lot of people see this as like a twin flame, a twin flame connection just being like um, all lovey dovey when it's the very opposite. It's there to teach you a lot of lessons, a lot of things to like force you to look at. Um, and so with this, this lets me know where it's like you acknowledge it and you're just like, there's no other choices. Like there is no other choice. You're not interested in moving on from it. But this is like your like if your goal was to always just make a living out of um being an author gemini you there's no other choice for you you're just like no i'm really going to create this like this is this is what my calling is this is my other half this is what's going to fulfill me i know this is my purpose right whatever it is whether it's a person or whether it's a situ like it's just something that you've been clinging on to that like even like even felix hopeless and everyone else thinks it's hopeless you don't and you just have really stayed the course really strongly gemini and it gets it pays out it's really beautiful how this is then we get the ten of pentacles so again that other card says a love life and this card excuse me gemini this card is a card of like having a happy family life and stability oh, i get talking a lot gemini and so like i end up keeping air here that tries to come out and i'm not trying to belch in front of you uh, but this card says a very happy family life, as I said, financial security and finding the magic in little things in life. So again, it just feels as if Gemini, you start appreciating things more. Everything just feels happier to you. Everything starts feeling more fulfilling to you because you held out, right? So it's just like that victory tastes just so much sweeter for you because it's like you earned it. So really, really powerful, right? The Ten of Pentacles is kind of like that card of having your cake and eating it too. You worked so hard making that beautiful cake. You worked so hard even like during, like when everyone else is doubting your baking abilities, right? You're just like, nah, it may look gross now, but trust the process, right? You really continued on with it. And by the end result, right? You got to show all those naysayers, you're being like, you knew what you were doing. But also, you get to enjoy that cake and also reap the benefits of building such a beautiful cake and, you know, winning a competition with that cake, right? Overall, just such good energy with this card, Ten of Pentacles. You guys really got, like, all the... The only way to make this better would be if we pulled, like, a Ten of Cups in this reading at some point. So let's look at the clarifiers for your Ten of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. So you weren't really feeling good about, like, again, you just maintain faith with this. Maybe this, even you holding out on one specific thing, Gemini, was affecting, like, the relationships in your life, was affecting, like, you know, even, like, your financial situations because of the Ten of Pentacles, right? Because, like, very much so, like, starving artist thing, where it's just like, no, at some point it's going to pay off right so you weren't like you <laughs> it's like it lets me know like it's been hard for you the moon card coming in in the reverse for you lets me know something this is actually a good thing for you guys because usually the moon in um the upright this is a card of where things are being hidden like you can't really quite see what all is going on and so when it's in the reverse things are being revealed Right, things that you weren't even aware of going on behind the scenes starts revealing themselves to you, where it starts making sense and, uh, as to why you finally were holding out. So this is very much so like an energy of where it's like something unexpected. Like I know it sounds so like whatever, but it does sound like come off in such a way. It's like something unexpected happens, like overnight. If it's about a person, you just wake up to like a text or just something. Um, that pays off for your patience. The Queen of Pentacles with the Temperance card. Like, your patience is rewarded, essentially, Gemini, is what this re entire reading is trying to say. Whatever it is that you were putting all your ducks in a row for, whatever it is that you were just like, nah, like, I have a strong feeling that this is going to just work out, that this is going to just give me the payoff that I needed, that's going to just change everything in my life. I really do see that payout happening soon. I know it's good. I know, especially with these cards, it's signifying to me, like, how much of a struggle it's been for you, Gemini, to maintain faith, especially with it seems like a bunch of naysayers and not really a strong support system around you, Gemini. But um, it's just, yeah, just stay the course is something I keep wanting to say. So uh, now, uh, Gemini, I want to get into my love and social situations for you guys, as well as my career situation, y'all's career situation, not mine, uh, for you, Gemini. So give me a moment to write down the timestamp for this. 
I'm gonna be playing for y'all's career, uh, yeah, career at this time. So if you're interested in hearing about your career, Gemini, let's get started. I pulled the Six of Pentacles, career and financial, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like you guys know that. Uh, Six of Pentacles, or the Six of Earth, because Pentacles is Earth energy. Ar Archangel Michael, this is the second time. He's really coming in strongly for you, uh, Gemini. Uh, maybe you have, like, a. I feel like... Hmm. I'll, I, this is going to be maybe for some, but I can't help but feel like some of you Geminis have a really strong calling to Michael and you guys haven't connected with him in a little bit and that's why he's coming in so pronounced. Uh, just a thought. Uh, with unity card. So funnily enough, this kind of reflects like your reading, your general reading Gemini, where it's just like something that you've been panning out on, right? If you didn't believe me in the general reading, these cards are saying it again. Something that you were putting a lot of energy into that wasn't giving you the payout, right? And so it's been hard making those sacrifices. I see the wheels of fortune turning into your favor, right? The wheel of fortune brings in those blessings. The wheel of fortune says a time of positive change, right? A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side, which really amplifies when you think about it, Gemini, the message that I was saying before of where's with that moon card being in the reverse, where it's just like overnight you just wake up for it to like some really beautiful news, right? So then the Ar Archangel Sandalphon, I can't help but feel like another person is involved in this. I don't know if like maybe you co-create with somebody or you work along like i don't know somehow another energy is involved in your financial uh, maybe it's just more than you maybe people close to you are also like in some type of like where the wheels of fortune are like turning in their favor as well that somehow benefits you right maybe like uh it was your significant other or your family someone in your family got a raise as well i feel like it's just like a good time for everybody overall financially in your life um, or at least that somehow directly affects you, Gemini. So really beautiful uh, career and financial situation for you guys. So now let's get into my uh, Gemini's uh, social and love situation and see what's going on there before we close out this reading for you. Let's see what's going on this week for my Gemini's love and social situation. All right. So, that voice crack. So, there we go. <laughs> Not any better. Um, this is why I don't sing, honey. Uh, we have the Four of Fire or the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Water or the Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups, as well as the Ace of Earth or the Ace of Pentacles. So, two Aces and two Fours. Interesting. Uh, so in terms of socially and in love, I feel like, um, I can't help but feel like something that was like a connection at one point that you've been holding, like I feel like something that you were holding yourself out on, uh, again, Gemini, it's something's coming back. And it is not like an X energy because I don't feel like anything negative with this, especially with the Four of Wands here. I really want to just go back to the message in the general part with that Queen and King of Pentacles um, this feels like someone that you just were holding out on. There's just like, no, this is my person. I'm gonna, this is worth the wait, right? And the Four of Water here, the Four of Cups says missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom, or opening your eyes to the possibility. I feel like it's the other side. It's, it seems as if, like, the other side of things, someone starts understanding you more or just something changes in them that allows them to be more open with you and to be like, you know what, Gemini, I want to walk into this four of wands, this four of fire with you. Cause this is the 1111 card, you know, walking through that portal. This lets me know of an energy that's kind of all been there. It's like, you've been standing here waiting for them this entire time. I just kind of see them warming up to the idea again now and coming back. Cause I do kind of, I can't help but feel like this is like an old connection. Right? Or a connection that you guys have crossed paths at one point. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this is like love. This is like the love card, right? Falling in love with the situation. 
um, or the resurgence of a relationship, right? Literally read the card, honey. <laughs> like, it just amp amplifies what I already said, Gemini. And the Ace of Pentacles, like, this just looks extremely promising, right? When you see Aces together, this is also a very good omen, right? So overall, extremely positive omens for you, Gemini, in terms of your social and love situation. Overall, like, probably one of your best readings that you've had in a long time, Gemini. So I celebrate you for that. Whatever it is that y'all been uh, pining for, and I even know, like months ago, Gemini, there's been like for a while, you guys been struggling with trying to let go of something or not. And it feels like you guys are getting paid, rewarded for uh, keeping with the path. So yeah, Gemini, that's the tarot cards that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, you should have let me know in the comments below which cards did, uh, did resonate with you and how. If you uh, also I do the weekly general zodiac readings for all <laughs> the signs, not just Gemini. It's been so long day, honey. Uh, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, Gemini, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that uh, resonates with them. Uh, but until next time, Gemini, I'm going to close this reading out because now I'm fumbling over my words because I've been recording for so long. I love you so much, Gemini, and I'll connect with you soon, honey. <laughs>